I'm back. Moved into the shade, man. I was getting torched out there. I'm in the studio, my patio. Mm. I'm chooching Stonehenge. Well, like I said, I was watching Spurgeon's Settles. Really enjoyed his videos. He's new on the scene, but he's been smoking for a while. But uh, I'll kind of review some of the things that he went over. So it's a Stonehenge, and it's a flake. I, I always tear mine up, and then I just let it sit out for however long, and I just, I just pull off of it. Um, again, this is more of a first impression. It's not a real thorough review. Windy season time of year. Everything's got to batten down the hatches. But I, I got this thing and lit it up. And right off the bat, I knew what it meant by when they said in the in it says, okay, after nearly a year of developing Stonehenge Flake, the modern Virginia Perique blend steeped in English tradition was born. Well, I took a few puffs and realized what they meant by steeped in English tradition. I'm smoking it, but I can't, I can't get past the detergent taste. Not taste, but sense of soap. Floral. It doesn't say anything about that. Fine Virginias are layered with Louisiana peat, Perique, and just a touch of Burley for added body and fuller flavor. Then steamed, hot pressed, and matured. The cakes are, are thinly sliced and tinned. Ready for your smoking pleasure today and for many years to come. I had heard uh, somebody had told me, hey, be careful what you, pipe you smoke that in because it's a Lakeland. And um, frankly, frankly, I'm pretty bummed. I know I'm just kind of, I'm chilling. I'm pretty bummed, actually. Um... I cannot get past. Maybe I'll put a filter in my nine mil like I thought I had. I was wondering why, why the tongue was a little hot. Well, let's see if I can uh, filter out some of that flavor. Well, it's a lot better. At least I'm starting to get some Virginia out of it. I'll chew it. I thought this whole time I had a filter in there, but my tongue was getting bit and burning. I was like, what's going on? Well, I've been doing these first impressions, and pretty much I've been watching people do you know, reviews, and I'm going, that's in like one of the 50 tins of something I need to smoke, like Pegasus. I already had it in there. I pulled it out, chooched on it. Beans did London Flake. I ended up getting some last week in a Yabo, so I've been smoking it. Stonehenge, I had. This is dated 62017. It was bulging when I uh, cracked it open. Well, it's better. It's better with the 9 mil in my opinion because I'm used to I only smoke 9 mil. So
it's better. It's more smokable to me. Um, this is actually, uh, I need to get his first name. Um, Spurgeon Settles. This is like his his blend. He smokes it once a week. I mean, he literally got smoking pipes. He like had 10, 10 tins of this. And um, God bless him. You know what? It is much better with a nine mil. I don't really, I don't mind the floral, but without that filter, I mean, I might as well just be drinking laundry soap. And, and it, he never even mentioned it. And the whole time he's talking, I'm going, what about the Lakeland? What about the Lakeland? And again, I had never smoked it up till now. I'm not hammering the blend at all. I'm going to smoke on this thing. I may smoke it the rest of the day. We'll just see. I've been uh, chooching a Scudo from Nelly that I got in the same package. I got the London Flake. Um, I basically been putting apple slices in with the tobacco. But what I did is I took the top that comes in there, the paper top that, that comes in just a tin and I cut it to fit the, um, the pint jar and then sliced it, it starred it several times in the middle. <coughs> Excuse me. And then put like four apple, thin apple slices in there. And then what I've been doing over the last week is opening it and then taking the bottom of the tobacco and setting it and like rolling, just kind of rolling the tobacco underneath the apple slices and then put it in for a day and then move it. And it's working great. It um, really is putting some humidity back in. And I'm using the same apple slices because that jar is tight. So there's moisture moving through it. But because they're coins, I had to kind of pull the coins apart, not break them up, but pull them apart so the moisture can get all up in there. So... That had been a little bit of an experience for me. I've heard it done before. I think uh, uh, John the Bearded Welshman, um, I heard him say he needed to throw an apple slice in it or something. There's just something about the apples touching the tobacco. Not that I'm weird that way, but I just really wanted to transfer of the moisture and not so much any flavor, but pleasantly surprised. Well, I digress. I'm back to Stonehenge. You know, I love Virginia's. I love vapors. Um, It is not something, I don't think I'll be buying any more of it. I'm just not that floral. I don't know. I am not pleasantly surprised. I mean, I was, I've been warned, hey, that's a Lakeland, that's a Lakeland. Um, but I had not been hearing it. So I thought, well, man, that sounds pretty dang good. I just can't get over it. I don't taste tobacco through my mouth. To get the flavors I, I want, I have to retro hell. And that just might be making it stronger. Anyways, don't mean to poo-poo on the tobacco, but uh, it ain't for me. I'll keep it. 
I'll pull it out every now and then and maybe chooch the three flakes that I've done and then put it away. Let it age another 25, 30 years. Those that like it, there's going to be some left because I won't be buying it. Uh, just my opinion, folks. Mel Harris, Garbage Man Piper, saying, Sweet chicken, baby. Y'all be safe out there. Well, I felt kind of bad that I really hammered the tobacco, so I continued to smoke it. And I will tell you, it, it may just be it's not built for me. I'm just running and gunning all the time. But since I did the last little clip, and I put the filter in it, and I've slowed my cadence down, um, it's, it's tamed it down quite a bit. I'm not going to say that it has saved the blend for me. Um, I think I'm going to do another stack on it and get some of the fresh stuff on top. Give it another chooch. You know, I really believe there are some tobaccos. There's, there's as many tobaccos as there are personalities out there. And you just gotta find that tobacco that fits your personality. Um, I need a tobacco that I can catch the flavors out of while I'm working in the shop or something like that. You know, Spurgeon Settling says that when he's when he's doing a study or he's he's working uh, on the computer and and whatnot, that this is his go-to. And you know, I can see that. I can see if you've slowed down, your cadence is slowed down, and you're just in a methodical study mode. And you know, I can see how this would be tamer than just chooching on it like a washing machine. It's much better. And I think if I can get my mindset and I know what I'm grabbing when I, when I grab it and know where I need to be when I smoke it, and, and I think that's just the key to all of it. So just stretching it out for another three minutes or so. And uh, listen, you all be safe out there.